this video we demonstrate the Rambus CXL 2.0 controller using the CXL.mem protocol to access host managed device memory or HDM. The setup includes a control PC with three tools, a serial console client, the Intel debugger and the FPGA programming tool. The server host is Intel's pre-production Xeon CPU, codenamed Sapphire Rapids, which supports CXL. The motherboard comes with a COM port for BIOS and UEFI and a MEP port connecting the CPU debug interface. The Sapphire Rapids platform includes CXL interconnects, which use the same physical layer and slots as PCI Express. This slot is used to connect an FPGA test board, which includes our CXL reference design. Here we can see a picture of the setup. We are first going to verify that our CXL device links up, and that is enumerated and configured by the host, and that we can access the configuration space via CXL.io. To do this, we use the UEFI shell, which allows us to execute commands for test and debug. We can see here that our CXL link is up and running. Our design is correctly identified. 1556 is the Rambus vendor ID and 1115 is the CXL 2.0 controller device. It is enumerated with the bus device function 6B0000. Now we can access the configuration space with the command PCI 6B0000. At address 0, we can read back the vendor ID and device IDs as expected. At address 00000500, we find the PCIe DevSec for Flexbus device which provides information about CXL status, including the enabled protocols, .io, .mem and .cache, the number of HDMs, etc. We can see the values 1F and 07, which indicate that the device is a CXL type 2, meaning it supports all three of the CXL protocols, cxl.io, .mem and .cache. At address 520, we can identify the CXL.mem HDM region. The memory located on a CXL device can be mapped as HDM. We can see here that the HDM is mapped at this address. Now that we have checked the configuration of the device, we can perform read-write operations over CXL.mem. We read the address of the HDM region with the command dmemxxx and see that all the data is at zero, which is expected as HDM is initialized with this value in our device. We then write some bytes from 0x1 to 0xf with the mm command. Now, when reading back that space with the dmem command, the values we just wrote are returned. In this demonstration, we have been using cxl.mem to access HDM via a UEFI shell. We have demonstrated memory access between the host and the device via cxl.mem. We're now going to replicate the same operations and check that we've actually reached the memory instantiated in the FPGA attached to the CXL.mem interface. To do this, we've placed probes on the memory interface signals during implementation, which will allow us to observe the relevant signals. The trigger for these probes is connected to the write enable signal, and we use a capture window of eight. We're writing four bytes at this address, and we can see that we triggered four times. 
Here we're writing for additional bytes. And now the capture is complete. And you can see the eight write operations that we performed. On the first four axes, you can see the value 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, and 0, 04 that we wrote at their respective byte positions. This demonstrates that we're indeed reaching the HDM memory region in the FPGA over CXL.mem when performing accesses from the host. For more information about Rambus CXL solutions, please visit us at rambus.com. Thank you for watching.